Hello all of you. In this session, we'll talk about FSMO rules or you can say that operation masters. So let's start the session guys. So we'll talk about FSMO rules or operation masters. So we, so either you can say operation masters or either you can say FSMO rules the same thing. Uh, if we'll talk about the FSMO, FSMO the full form is flexible single master operation. Okay. So it's a, uh, full form is known as flexible single master operations so when you going to install any particular dc like imagine if you have a rdc or we have a, a cdc or adc so we we'll talked about already uh, uh, five types of dcs in the last session so if you create any dc whether it's a rdc or cdc okay some operation masters are automatically installed and these operation masters has their separate separate rules so now under, understand this why we can call operation master is why why we can call operation master and why we can call uh, flexible single master operations. So these are the roles. These roles uh, name is known as uh, FSMO roles. But these roles contained by a dedicated domain controller or a specific con domain controller that domain controller is known as operation master. So you can say that a domain controller that hold one of these roles is called as operation master. Okay, so understand this also. So operation master means a dedicated or specific domain controller who contains or who maintains one of these role or all roles. Okay, so a, a specific, you can say that a specific uh, DC that holds one of these roles is called or is known as operation master simple as that so why we call operation master operation master so in short we uh, we call operation master is a particular um, dc who maintain all the, uh, one of these role or all roles as you can say that so now if i if i talk, if i uh, go for that so if i have a rdc in my um, if i have a rdc or pdc in my uh, uh, forest so your rdc or pdc whatever you, you can call rdc or you can call pdc the same thing so if you have a rdc so that rdc contains all the rules all these operation masters remember these things RD, rdc is one of the domain controller who maintains or who contains all these operation masters all these fsm rules remember these things so if you have a rdc so every organization has one rdc Remember these things. We're not able to create multiple RDCs in one organization because RDC represents the organization. So if you have a one RDC in every organization, so that RDC maintains FSM all all five FSM rules, all these FSM rules maintained by RDC. Now we have a CDC. The CDC maintains only three operation masters. That is known as RID, infrastructure, and PDC. These three roles only. RID master infrastructure master and pdc emulator master so these three roles are maintained by cdc and all five roles are maintained by rdc remember these things now these operation masters are divided into two categories first we'll first we'll do uh, first we'll see like this so if we we'll talk about these operation masters so these operation masters has two categories as you can see that so we have two categories number one is we known as forest forest operation masters or forest wide, or forest wide roles also we say this forest wide roles okay and another one we have a domain wide roles domain wide roles so in short you can say that these five roles are divided into two categories one is forest wide and another one is domain wide now in forest wide we have two roles in forest wide we have two roles number one Domain naming, domain naming master is working in forest wide and schema master. So these two roles are, maintain, are, are known as forest wide roles and domain wide roles less, uh, uh, rest three like RID and infra, infrastructure and the third one is known as PDC emulator, PDC emulator. PDC emulator. So these are the three roles which is working in every domain in the in the network. Like if you have a 
in your in your organization you have five domain networks so all these three roles are working in all five domain networks but yes if we talk about the forest wide roles this this roles are uh, it's it's only uh, running in the rdc and it's only running in one time only okay so if you have rdc rdc maintains all 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 these five roles but your cdc maintains only uh, domain wide roles okay so if you have five domain networks so all those five dcs are maintaining these domain wide roles only but your rdc maintains all those five roles by why because because your rdc represents the forest okay that's why your forest wide roles are working only in rdc now what is the function of these roles next we understand now i will talk about the domain name master the domain name master is when you going to add or remove any domain domain controller or or you want to or you, or or you want to add or you want to change something in domain okay so it's maintained by domain name master like imagine right now i have three domain networks now 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 what happens like imagine uh, in future i have only two domain networks one is removing one one i, I already removed so these informations are maintained by domain naming master so when you going to create any domain controller in the domain whether you can add or remove any domain controller any do or are you can or you have any changes in the domain so maintained by all these things are maintained by domain naming master and it maintains your duplicacy as well like imagine i have a like imagine we have two sites like this this is my site 1 and uh, we have a site 2 like this okay we have two sites now over there i already create one domain name is abc.local okay but now i'm trying to create same domain name over there as well we are not able to do that because domain name master is there it checks the duplicacy if any duplicate name exist so what what it do it automatically place zero their site to uh, to avoid the duplicacy okay so over there the domain name is abc.local and over there it shows you abc0.local like this so your domain name master number 1 it check adding or removing or it take the make the uh, take the information about or maintain the information about adding or removing the domain controllers in the domain or adding or removing the domain networks and it checks the duplicacy as well if any duplicacy is there so it it uh, avoid those duplicacy with with using the zero okay uh number second we have a schema master now schema master is used to maintain all the changes in your schema now schema maintains all your ad objects uh, attributes and classes what schema maintains schema maintains all your ad objects attributes and classes now i will showing you um what what are the attributes and classes of our ad objects now you can see that i just started my uh, rdc which we created in the previous class a previous session so if you see over there if i if i go to start and i go to admin tools over there we have active directory user and computers i'm open it with the help of this i'll be able to uh, create the objects now we already created one username right over there so like over there my user is user1 now if i right click over there and go to properties so these are the classes we have if you see are uh, you are you able to see all those tabs like journal address account profile so these are the tabs actually but we but in the schema uh, language we see we will see these these are the classes now we have a journal class address class account class profile class like this and every class has their attributes like in journal class we have uh, first name attribute last name attribute display name attribute description attribute office attribute telephone number attribute email address email address attribute and web page attribute so this is the class and these are the attributes you have so every class has a different different attributes like if you click on address class over there we have street attribute po box attribute now if you click on account class over there we have user logon name attribute user logon name pre windows 2000 attribute logon hours logon to these are the things we have okay so whatever you can whenever you can create any object that object property is contained by classes and attributes these all attributes and classes are, are maintained by our schema okay the schema is maintained all ad objects attributes and classes so if you have any changes in the schema or or if you if you if you uh, like uh, what you can say that like if you if you going going to 
uh, edit any object okay so that changes are saves in schema automatically so if your schema is not working you're not able to you're not able to save any object in the active directory because all those active directory objects are, are automatically saves in schema all their ad objects attributes and classes are automatically saves in schema so like imagine if you want to like imagine that like imagine if you want to if you want to add any any tab like imagine i want i want a picture tab also i want that user is able to um, add their pictures over there so we can modify the schema as well with the help of uh, so we, how we can modify the schema we can use adlds services active directory lightweight directory services so with the help of this we able to modify the schema as well if you want to if you if you know aldap language okay so in that case you can modify the schema you can add or remove the the classes you can add or remove the attributes you can add or remove uh, you can add the separate attributes as well or new attributes as well or new classes as well but for that you need to learn aldap language okay so this is what we have actually so so with the, so if you want to edit your schema you can edit with the help of adlds we can create multiple instances instances means we can create a duplicate instance for our schema we are not we we, we not um, modify our our original schema we first take the copy of schema and then we can modify it and then we can check whether there is no issues with the in, in ad or not once i modify the schema so if you want any modification if you if you want any changes in the schema so it it maintains by schema master so you can do anything in schema maintained by schema master now next we have a <coughs> rid master now rid master is provide you <coughs> not provide you it provides you the domain domain uh, domain controller it provides some ids to the domain controller like we have two ids sid and rid now these two ids are automatically provided by your domain controller with the help of rid master so rid master has uh, by default it provides 100 ids at one stretch at one time it provide 100 ids to the to the domain controller and then it providing each unique id to each and every uh, ad object so that your ad is identify the object and whatever permissions or whatever policies you can define to a particular object that also uh, saves in that particular ids so rid is for unique object and sid is uh, uh, managing uh, the security part of the object so whatever policy whatever security you can apply on the particular object so when you going to create any object in domain controller your rid master provide sid and rid these two ids to a particular object so that we able to identify the object means your ad is able to identify the object and it, it your ad is able to uh, uh, see what kind of policy what kind of security what kind of permissions we can apply on a particular object this is what we have the rid so if your rid master is unavailable you're not able to adding a new objects in that case like imagine if rid master gives a 100 uh, id pool to a particular domain controller now imagine that after providing this 100 100 ids uh, my rid master is unavailable so still we have a uh, ids in queue we have uh, left some ids in queue so we able to create the object but after creating 100 objects we not able to create more objects because we don't have ids and my rid master is unavailable as well so in that case we are have we have we have facing some difficulties to adding the objects in the domain in the domain environment so remember always if your rid master is not working you not you have some difficulties to creating the ad objects or new objects you can say that now next we have a infrastructure master so rid master provides you what rid master provide you identities okay it provides you two ids uh, sid and rid to each object to each ad object whatever object you can create either you can create user account computer account groups or use whatever you can create okay now next we have a infrastructure master now infrastructure master uh is used for like <clears throat> now in infrastructure master uh maintaining the references object references like imagine that uh we have a multiple domain network or multiple domain networks 
okay and now we have one group now imagine that we have these two sites or two these, these two different different domain networks like imagine uh, I just remove this now imagine that over there I'm using abc.local and over there I'm using uh, abc.uk imagine okay and now I'm going to create one group over there in that I have to have a group one which I, have, uh, I just I create this group in my abc.local okay and I have a user over there we have a users like over there I have a user one and over there I have a user two in my abc.uk domain I have a user two now we have different different domains okay now imagine that this user two is a member of group one and this user one also is a member of group one now this group contains contains a different member a, dif a different domain member this group contains user 2 is a member of this group it means that a uh, user 2 is a different domain member so if if you have like this situation so over there infrastructure master comes in picture Insta infrastructure master uh, maintain the references like this uh, a user is uh, is referred uh, is uh, is uh, belongs to abc abc.uk so who tells infrastructure master so like if you have this kind of things, if you have a, if you have a, um, a mixer environment or if you have a complex environment, complex AD environment you have, like imagine you have a multiple domain networks and uh, multiple domain networks is running uh, or like imagine that you have one group and that group maintains multiple domain network users. Okay, so in that case infrastructure uh, maintain the references, those users that okay, this group is uh, located in abc.local but in this group we have a user2 member that located in abc.uk so these are the references maintained by infrastructure master if you have a complex environment the last thing we have so infrastructure master maintained by it maintains references it maintain references like this now next we have a PDC emulator now PDC emulator has, is doing so many things okay number one it manages the time synchronization time like imagine that like imagine I give you an example like what is what kind of time synchronization it, it did like imagine that I have a server this is my server and we have a client over there on the down okay this is my server 2022 and it's a DC and it's a DC and uh, uh, this is my client as you can see that we have a client 01 now this client is connect with this server like this okay and now imagine that now imagine that these these clients now this server has a different time zone like imagine it uses uh, plus 530 zone plus 530 530 zone and this client imagine using minus 8 minus 8 zone timing zone time zone so what happens in that case this client with the help of this client I'm not able to log in with this server because they have the different different time zones time is okay like if, if I'm using the same time zone like over there right now it's it shows morning 10 30 and over there it shows morning uh, night 10 30 so it's okay if you have a different different time it's okay be able to access it but yes if you have a different different time zones so this with the help of this client I'm not able to access my server 2022 because they have a different different time zones so number one your PDC emulator maintaining those zones they synchronize the zones between the server and the client and number second if you any if your user is going to change any passwords so that passwords updated passwords are maintained by PDC emulator so if you if you if a user is going to change any any kind of passwords like imagine I have a user one it changed their password okay so that updated passwords are safe uh, are maintained by PDC emulator so that PDC emulator uh, urgently send, sends their password changes to the information to the to your DCs so that DC is able to modify the the, the passwords in their AD database as well there is the second second uh, work done by PDC emulator number third it maintains the GPU editing as well like if you 
modifying anything in the GPO. So that modification is maintained by your PDC emulator. So PDC emulator is there uh, if you're going to add, uh, if you're going to editing your your uh, group policies. Okay, so that edited copy is stored in PDC emulator master. Okay, so whatever whatever changes you done in the GPO, that changes are saved in PDC emulator. Or that changes are stored in PDC emulator. That's what we have. So this is what we have some uh, two to three box uh, with PDC emulator. So if you go for PDC emulator, this is what we have. So PDC emulator did three things. Number one, time synchronization, time, time sync. Number second, it uh, password updates. Let me write over there. Password updates. This is the second one. And number third, we have GPU editing. Changes in GPU. GPU means group policies. We we'll talk about it, not to worry. What is group policies and all in upcoming lectures? So these are these things are done by your PDC emulator. These all things are done by PDC emulator. Remember these things. Like this. Okay. So this is what we have actually. So these are the five operation masters we have. So like if your uh, PDC emulator is not working, so your time synchronization is not working. You're not able to change the passwords. You're able to change the password, but the password is not updated. Okay. And if you change anything in the GPO, mm -hmm. that is not updated because your PDC emulator is not working. Okay. And infrastructure, what uh, they do one thing also infrastructure, infrastructure maintain the references as well and infrastructure see the memberships also. Like if any user has changed the membership, their group membership, so that uh, uh, more, that's uh, updations are stored by our infrastructure master. Like imagine right now, user one is a member of group one. Now user two, now in future or in some days, now if user two, user one is not able to, not, not a member of group one now. Now user two, user one is a member of group two. So now user one is changes their, changes their uh, membership. So that information stored in infrastructure master as well. So this is what we have the FSMO rules. Now while showing you all these FSMO rules, so we have the options. Like if I want to see this FSMO rules, so what we need to do, we have one command actually. With the help of command also we able to see and with the help of GUI mode also we able to see. So if I will see with the command, the command is netdom query FSMO. Now I can see that. Let me just big the font yes now i can see that all the roles by default running in server one why because server one is my rdc but uh, that's why it shows me all the roles are running in server one because rdc maintains all the forest and the domain wide roles rest other domain controllers are only maintained domain wide roles not forest wide roles okay now if you want to see this in the in graphically so how we can see that i just go to start and I go to admin tools over there. We have the option AD users and computers with the help of this. We are able to see the domain wide roles. So if I go to right click to my abc.local and we have the option operation masters. Once you click on it over there, this shows you RID is running in server one PDC also running in server one and in infrastructure also running in server one. And if I want to check the domain naming master, so over there we can go for start admin tools over there. We have domain and trust. And uh, over there, you can right click to the domain and trust and we have the option operation master. And you can see that my domain naming master is running in server one. Now the last one we, we left is schema master. Now for schema master, schema master by default is hide. It's hidden. So we need to unhide first. So how we can go for that? We open the uh, CMD and run the command. Command is SVR 32 MGMT This This is the complete command. Server 32 schema management.dll. It's a, we need to register this. Uh, we need to first uh, 
register this command. So once I click on enter, okay, I thought it's SRV maybe. There's a space between this. And okay, just a minute, SRV. Maybe SVR32, just okay. Flash schema management dot PLL. No, just a minute. I need to check. Okay, I just forget this thing only. Uh, it's a register server 32. So it's reg SVR32 and then space then sch mmgmt dot dll this is the command once i run this this way it is there is no space maybe okay this way need to check one okay now this is the command actually register server 32 schema management dot dll it's a full form this so reg svr 32 space sch mmgmt dot dll now enter it now you can see that reg server svr is spelling yeah now you can see that now it's running this is a command actually uh a reg svr32 space sch mmgm dot dll so this is a command so you can see that this command is and succeeded okay now we able to check now we able to uh, uh, see the schema so how we can where we can see the schema i open again run and just write down over there mmc and over there we can find out the schema tool. So I go to files, add, remove, snaps in. Over there we have find out schema, active directory schema and click on add. Now this is the schema tool we have. Now click on OK. Now this is the tool we need. Now if you if you, if you see that, once I uh, click on this, it shows me where it's running. It's running in server1.abc.local. If I, if I right click over there and go to uh, operation master, over there, this shows me my current schema master running is server1.mc.local. Like this. Now, this is the process how we can uh, check the rules. Physic uh, you are graphically also and command line also. So, the command line, we able to use netdom command. And graphically, we'll see all these consoles like, like this.